Hello, beautiful souls. How y'all doing? If you're new here, welcome. I'm Brainy, and this is Brainy Twin Gemini, where we talk about unconditional love, the purest form of love, spiritual health, growth, fitness, all good, good things. Today, I will be doing as a message as it resonates for Twin Flame, Soulmate, Divine Love, Fated Connection, however you reconcile this precious, beautiful love in your heart. I do everything from a masculine perspective, what's in their current heart space. If they could say anything at this moment, what would it be to their beautiful divine feminine energy and the overall energy of this beautiful, beautiful love collective. So I'm gonna get started here. This has been going on for the last, I wanna say a few days in this offer keeps coming to the forefront of the energy right now. This masculine wants to come forth with an offer. They're articulating a strategy on how they're going to make a move forward towards you, Divine Feminine. So it's coming out like crazy. It just, I feel for you, it's a very, very good thing, Feminine Energy, but I also feel for the masculine energy, an offer they've been waiting for whether it be a job offer or something is coming to them as well. So there's all sorts of offers on the table, so to speak. This masculine has surrendered to themselves and to the love. And feminine energy, you may have this sense of just release, freeing, surrendering, and just giving it over to God, universe, source, divine, however you resonate. You may feel this sense of surrender as well. You trigger energy between each other, energy transference, however you resonate, but I do love this surrender. Another very important energy about the surrendering stage is it is so beautiful because once you surrender, you're free. But another thing that this masculine is surrendering to is the challenges that they've had with their inner child. And simply ignoring that inner child. We tend to do that in our journey of life. We just push that inner child down. It's part of who we are. And acknowledging, the first step is acknowledging that wounded inner child and writing it down and just accepting it. You know, that's part of who you are and the challenges that you've overcome, the challenges that your inner child brought you to is that reconciliation with that inner child is so, so important. I feel like I should do a video on reconciling with your inner child and discovering what's there. If you're interested, kindly leave a comment in the, in this video and I'll, and I'll try to do something to help you acknowledge and become familiar with that inner child. But I love that also very much. If they could say anything to you, in the moment, what would it be? And they're dreaming of you like crazy. And they're very mysterious dreams. So, like you, feminine energy, you have many dreams about your masculine, but there's an element of mystery to these dreams. And why is that? Because the physical person in your dream doesn't look like your physical person, if that makes any sense. But there's this love and they're at a distance. And each time the dream, you've, you have this lucid dream or vivid dream, this person is getting closer and closer and closer and closer in your dream. From a distance, they're not recognizable. When they come closer, they become more recognizable. And this masculine is having these mysterious dreams about you. They know that the love that you share is deep and profound like no other love. and But the person in their dream doesn't look like you. But that to me, is it signifies that your love stems many lifetimes. So I love the dreaming. The more frequent the dreaming, I always feel you're closer to each other in physical embodiment. I dreamt every single day, weeks up to and leading up to our physical separation ending every single day of my beautiful, beloved soul. 
and our dreams tell so many stories. And sometimes you don't remember your dreams, that's okay. But I feel like they're so real. And this masking wants you to know that they're dreaming of you. Also too, a message is if you can, try if you have a dream and you wake up from it, try and write it down. Keep a notepad by your, your bedside. And it's, they may be strange and crazy dreams, but there's a message there for you. So maybe just jot it down and that clarification will come. A 3D world, I feel like there's going to, the masculine wants you to know there's going to be an encounter with you, with the two of you in the third dimensional world. I, I feel like it may be by chance, but I also feel like it resonates with the offer and them articulating this movement forward. So expect that in the coming days, an offer. It could be an offer from the universe. It could be an offer from anywhere to solidify, solidify and clarify the deep bond that you share. And I love that all so much. A couple of other messages for you beautiful souls are, I know we are divinely protected. This, as this masculine surrenders and push it, like gives everything to God universe, they know that this, they want you to know that you are divinely protected. We are divinely protected. It is a, it is a tumultuous journey. It's not easy. You, you'll have a lot of challenges, a lot of obstacles. But if you remain stuck, God will, divine will come in and gently remove those obstacles for you because this is a protected connection. Believe it or not, it's, it's sacred and very prote protected. And the fact that the masculine knows this is a huge milestone for them as well. I can't wait to conquer the world with you. Now, this also resonates with the dreams. The dreams, when they're having these dreams, is just bringing the sense of nostalgia to them and they're, you're always on their mind right now in a good way. And they can't wait to conquer the world with you and it's beautiful. They also want you to know that they've never felt love like this before. Uh, we, we often deny this love that we feel for each other because it's hard to reconcile. It doesn't seem to come in at the right moment. It seems it is the right moment, but it may not be the right moment in your third dimensional world. And it's hard to reconcile these feelings of pure, raw love, unconditional love, the purest form of love. It's hard to reconcile those because you've never felt like that before. And it's easier just to not acknowledge them, truly. But they want you to know that they've never felt love like this before. And this is still in the energy orbit aura right now, in the masculine essence. And it's the regret um, that they hurt you. They know that they hurt you, but they never meant to. They were so scared about everything that was occurring in their life at that moment in time, this forced spiritual awakening, seeking inwards and looking at the trauma, and they truly felt like you were better off without them. It is the truth, because there's just too much healing there to do at that period of time. And if you had, if you stay together and you force that, I wanna say, physical embodiment, and you don't go and do your healing, it'll be very destructive for both of you because you are so, I want to say energetically aligned, your triggers will just, it, it will like destroy, you will destroy each other with little amount of recovery. You need to heal those traumas and clear karma. And that is what this journey is about getting to discover your true authentic self. And I love it so much. And creativity keeps coming out. So I feel like the dreams and the creativity, they go hand in hand as well, because you are their inspiration, their greatest inspiration. And the creativity is also coming through in dreams. So I love that. What is the overall energy of this beautiful, beautiful collective? As you know, body connections are 
one of those fundamental elements on this journey, also known as the chakras. You come in and you purify and you cleanse each other in ways that not very many, if at all, souls can do. And when you come into this purification process, it is beautiful. And today, the chakra that is purifying and magnifying and beautifying is the sixth chakra. And I love the sixth chakra because I've always felt that when you come into each other, you activate that chakra instantly. And it's located in the center of the forehead. It governs the pituitary gland, the lower brain, nervous system, ears, nose, and eyes. It's how we see things both physically and intuitively. When developed, it improves our intuitive abilities, helps us to see clearly the big picture. And that is exactly it. The third eye is outwards and inwards. And you may have this, I, I get this often when I'm meditating, you'll see the eye inwards when your eye when your eyes are closed it's wild so i love the fact that it's purifying because and and just getting to that pure purification state because the, your intuition just becomes even that much more amplified and you do see the big picture so i love that so much i'll put i'll throw this up in the video today you could have this like fluid coming from your nose your eyes your ears that's a good indication that it is purifying. It has nothing to do with allergies, has nothing to do with the cold. It just seems to come on randomly and it's clear fluid that comes out. And it could last for a day, a month, however long. I know when I was in physical separation, it was every single day for, I wanna say, at least a year. <laughs> How crazy is that, right? Um, the other overall energy that's kind of going on with the both of you and your in the collective group is rest. I feel the messages for both masculine and feminine energy just to rest, recalibrate, rejuvenate. You're having a lot of sleeplessness. I want to say this comes from the residual of the solar eclipse energy. And you're just like suffering a bout of insomnia right now that energy you are so highly sensitive to th that frequency that just occurred it's like you're on constant adrenaline if that makes any sense and you can't subdue yourself you're this this restlessness so if you can rest and meditate maybe to the six chakra video that i put up there even just Listen to it before you go to sleep and just clear the rubbish. Lessons and cycles, I love this so much. So cycles are completing and lessons are being learned. And I feel like the, the lesson that is right at the forefront of this energy right now is the lesson of surrendering. You're learning that lesson. You're learning that you need to surrender to this connection to this love and just hand it over and just truly let it go. It is, you know, there's such, there's so many unknowns on this journey. And that's why I'm here as a messenger to give you some clarity and some guidance on how to navigate the journey. It's hard to let go and, and just completely surrender. It's not easy. As I said so many times, I felt like I did it at least 20 times before I actually did, you will know when you do, because it's like this weight. It's like this energetic weight, I guess, is lifted from your aura, from your soul, and it's like, I'm free. And then you just live your life. And that's when the magic and the beauty truly, truly, really does occur. And I love it so, so much. And yeah, so very good message overall. I love the offer in the third dimensional world, the dreams, just the inner child acknowledgement, overcoming those challenges, rest, cycles, lessons. I really, really, really love it all so much. When cycles, when one cycle ends, another one begins. And I feel like that new beginning is the both of you. 
as many of you know, signs, synchronicity, serendipity, all sorts of beautiful things occur when you're on this journey. You'll have an animal that's a totem by your side throughout your journey, uh, pain and sorrow, but also in bliss and happiness. And the feminine animal spirit message today is horse spirit, freedom is yours. And that's exactly it. Surrender. When you surrender, you're free. Freedom, liberation, peace, beautiful. Wow, I love it so, so much. And the masculine animal spirit message today is turkey spirit, give with gratitude and grace. And that, that's exactly it. Give with gratitude and grace. This is a blessing. And sometimes it doesn't always seem this way because it really truly does bring us to some very dark places of crying and dark night of the soul. And just when you think you've overcome that, you get back into it. It is a cycle. Maybe that cycle of this darkness is over as well. But giving with great gratitude and grace is so important because you've been given a gift and we're there's what six seven billion people on this on this earth not everyone on this earth gets this blessing and this gift of unconditional love and you've received it so give with grace and gratitude because you are the disciples of unconditional love and if you can overcome these challenges overcome these hurdles, we fit complete cycles, learn your lessons, all sorts of one, wonderful things. You, you just know what unconditional love is and you emanate and radiate the most beautiful love and light from your aura. And you are just spreading your love in ways that you can't visually see. You may go to the grocery store or anywhere for that matter, and your light, it really makes other people smile and makes them feel good. So keep doing that, great, great, great. And the overall energy um, for this collective today is, ironically, giraffe, spirit, see the big picture. And that's exactly resonates with the third eye, see the big picture. You see clearly, like this third eye helps you, as I said, look outwards and inwards. And you really truly do see the big picture of this connection, how powerful it is within the third dimensional world, but other dimensions as well. And seeing that big picture and seeing where you're meant to be and where you're meant to go, there's, there's nothing more valuable than that. Not only that, the intuition. Your intuition is so incredibly powerful that it's actually leading you to the right destinations because of this amplification. So I love this message all so much. And I want to thank you all so much for the likes, the loves, the comments. It really warms my heart from the bottom of my heart. If any of this resonates, kindly like, comment, and subscribe for future videos just like this. And now I'm going to throw up a video, Hope Unite. It is about suicide awareness, just getting the word out there, getting this movement out there. One act of kindness can truly, truly change one person's life. Give it a whirl. You know, if you can help in any way, that would be wonderful. And with that being said, have a beautiful, beautiful day. My name is Crystal Adam Scott, and I'm the founder of Hope Unite. Hope Unite is a movement of hope to help prevent suicides and find trauma survivors and connect them to a support system that they may not know is available to them. I started Hope Unite after the loss of my husband to suicide in 2017. He believed a lie, and most suicide victims do. And that lie is, is that they don't matter, that there is no hope, and that their life is invaluable. That lie caused my son never to be able to see his father or his father's ever be able to see him grow up. I knew there were other people that felt like him. 
And so that was really the foundation of what started Hope Unite for us. The You Matter movement is a movement of hope created to start a domino effect of kind interactions all across the world. Every day we wake up with air in our lungs, we get opportunities to make a positive impact on the world around us. The phrase you matter to me, it means that you matter no matter what you're going through, no matter how old you are, no matter where you come from or any of those things, you matter as an individual. When I was diagnosed with cancer, uh, stage four, they were telling, they're telling me I'm gonna die. It was Crystal at Hope Unites that kept me motivated to just keep going, where I was able to use my gifts and my talents and my time to work with the volunteers and to do good and to help people make a difference and getting other people involved. And so it gave me a reason to, to be positive and to, to use my business sense for the sake of something that is so beautiful. Join the movement and impact the world in a positive way, one act of kindness at a time.